Hi, and welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke Randomizer Edition. Last time we caught some stuff. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. See, I'm saying that, and we're keeping this in. No retakes or anything like that. We are just always go in this Let's Play. But I knew I was going to be doing level grinding. So what I had intended to do was to queue up some music tracks before I started the part so that uh, I could just have those playing in the background while I did fast forward because I don't like listening to the fast forward sound. But I forgot to set that up before I actually started recording. So that's on me, but I will just sort of do that now and you can look at dead air for a second. I thought I just muted the game, but... Uh, no, I totally did. That's DSMU. Why is muting that? Why is the sound still coming through? Huh? I am way too technologically inept to be... There we go. Alright, no noise now, and now noise again. This is Nightcore Rockefeller Street. Alright, fast forward, go! And then I'll put on different music as we need it. Uh, yep, I forgot what I was saying before I put on the music. Oops. Uh, Twitch chat will let me know if the music is too quiet compared to my actual voice. I personally, when I'm watching stuff, get a bit annoyed if I can't hear the, the player over the actual game noise. So I sometimes overcompensate in the other direction. But... This is a happy middle ground, and you guys can help me find it. Why did I switch in Robespierre against a fucking Honchcrow? This music thumps. Oh, it can't be heard at all, so I'm just going to pause the music, go back to the start, and... Here we go. Let us know if it's audible now. And my mic got further away from my mouth, which made me quieter. Guys, this is just a cavalcade of errors. Here we go. Mic's close, music's louder, should be good. If I had a bug type attack, it'd be quite effective, but I don't, so Robespierre! Against the psychic type. Why am I this dumb? Ah, Thanks, guys. It's important to appreciate me, even if I'm bad at this. It's not important to. Do what you want. Like, if you're a Twitch viewer here, any, any time... Sometimes I would feel bad when I was like a Twitch audience member and then I'd leave and I'd be like, ah, oh, but I'm interacting with the streamer and they're not going to notice. Ah, feel free to just go. I know you've all got lives to live. It's all good. YouTube viewers, you don't need to comment on every video. You don't need to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It's cool. This is hopefully the most chill channel possible. We're all doing this and enjoying this just because we're relaxed and uh, staying inside for a while. I know what music's going to be next, and it's going to be a very sharp tonal divergence. Golem's so cool. I'm not a huge fan of Alolan Golem, but like, just Golem? Look at that thing. It's just a sentient rock. How baller is that? Life? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a weird thing. It's not something we've really uh, experimented very much with, so... Actually, now that I look at it, Honchcrow, like, specifically... Uh, wait, what? Sky Attack? Yeah, I think that was Sky Attack. That's fine. Honchcrow specifically kind of dunks on my team, typing-wise. Like, neutral, weak to flying, weak to flying, weak to dark, weak to flying, weak to dark. Neat. I don't like that Robespierre keeps taking pretty hefty m amounts of damage. Alright, so, we're actually in the area... Actually, is that the song? I think that's the song. Yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, sharp tonal divergence. Go! Alright, good night, Jakuts. Have a good time. Thank you very much for the uh, luck. We'll make it through. Alright, this song is The Sid. Uh, 
and they are playing Iridium. And it's crazy. Metal bagpipes, folks. Gotta love them. See you around. Uh, oh, right. Speed boost. Nice. Speed boost is gonna be crazy as we keep going. Me no hear music. Huh. You guys didn't hear any of the music yet? Well, let's just pause that and come back here. How about now? That's here. Alright, so this is, this is the level I want the, the actual music on. Okay. We've gone back to the first one. Too loud now. Oops. There we go. It's down a bit. Hopefully not down too much. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your patience with this. Teething pains. Hopefully, as I do this a bit more, I'll uh, get a bit of a handle on how to keep the levels. Yes, I did it. I did did it. I can't wait till you say that about me beating the Elite Four Free Tempest Oz. That's going to be a special moment. Uh, I do think, since this is hard gold, we should probably go all the way to red. You know, like it's, that's the climax of this game. It's not the Elite Four. Oh, Tropius. Tropius is so cool, you guys. Tropius is so cool. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I didn't swap in Rob's Beer because that was a lot of damage and Rob's Beer takes super effective damage from that. Double Vision is probably the right one to switch in. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm glad the Pokemon Center is right here. It makes this easier. So we're pretty close to areas where we can catch some more Pokemon. Red is a cock. Like, low-key, totally a cock. <laughs> it's not... Uh, little, little note, that's not the kind of language I like using about real human beings. I don't like thinking or treating people with that sort of attitude. But about, like, fake cartoon characters... Yeah, sure, totally, Red's a cock. <laughs> to 11 p.m. at night here, but it's still pretty warm. Exactly. Pixels don't have feelings. Alright, that song is finished, so now a completely different song. Nope, oh, I just used Leech Life by accident when I clicked back into the window. That's okay. That's Steel Rock, right? So Magnet Bomb will be neutral, so will Shadow Claw. I know this will be neutral. I think this will be neutral, so I kind of want to see. Oh, nope, super effective. Cool. Actually, it might be Mono Rock. Ah, uh, U-turn's cool, but it's kind of a hassle in, like, just campaign. I should have had U-turn. Ah, oh, Shadow Claw would kill it. Oh, it didn't. Nice. Uh, I'm proud of you, Executor, that I had to kill. Steel resist Goke and Dark in this gen. Uh, yeah, it does. So, like, a lot of Steel types, like, Bronzong... All the Steel Psychics, so like Bronzong, Jirachi, and I think there's one more that I'm forgetting. All of them only a weak to uh, s Fire and Ground. And in Bronzong's case, because it's got the abilities Heat Proof and Levitate, it actually is only going to be weak to one of those. It's either going to take neutral damage from Fire and super effective from Ground, or super effective from Fire and it's immune to Ground. So, Bronzong, back in the day, was really crazy with that little hiccup. Of course, most people would go for Levitate, but if your team had more of the fire weakness, and you knew, since you know that more people are going for Levitate for the ground immunity, and if your team has good ground coverage, you might, like, juke mind game it and be like, I'll actually go for Heat Proof, because they'll hit me with the fire, expecting it to deal more damage, and 
if they're not paying enough attention, they'll see that it's super effective trigger and be like, ah, oh, it took all the damage from fire. And they'll not clue in that it took less damage than it should have, because it's still super effective in the case that the Bronzong has Heatproof. Heatproof just halves the damage. It doesn't remove the type effectiveness. So, yeah, that's, that's a quick little uh, divergence about uh, old school steel psychic types being crazy. Uh, like, I do think that the steel nerf happened primarily because of that typing as well. Like, I think steel psychic types were the reason they went, we need to make steel a bit worse. We need to take away these two resistances. And, like, I kind of get it. Even ignoring that, like, steel has so many defensive applications before they took away the uh, ghost and dark resistances. But they, they did make it good against Fairy, and Fairy is also a pretty decent type, so, like, it it trades. Alright, Big Tempest is pretty much at a level where he's usable. I'm actually kind of tempted not to use Tempest. I know, I know that last part, like, not even an hour ago in this video series, I was saying, oh, I can use them both. But, uh... I probably sh All right, there's areas around me here. What I should do... Did I get the uh, fishing rod? I don't think I did. I think I specifically didn't. I think I specifically didn't get the old rod because I wouldn't see water types. I'm like, why would I bother fishing? And now, here I am in a town with a pool and not surf, and don't I feel like a fucking idiot. Alright, so, uh, like, I can go this way, there's no, like, gates stopping me. So, tell you what, let's go straight into this patch of grass, see what's in here. If it's a cool Pokemon, we might go for it instead of Tempest. We'll definitely use Big Tempest, because it's speed boost. Eh. It is a jam, isn't it? This song is such a jam. So that name again is the Sid, S-I-D-H, Iridium. Uh, it's going to just autoplay their next song, Shake That Bagpipe. I'm just going to let that play. I don't think it's quite as good, but it's still fun. And I clicked in and just used Magnet Bomb accidentally. So we're not catching this shield mom. Oops. That wasn't a Bidoof situation, that was a, a genuine, unintentional kill. This is a new area too, and I th actually... Is there grass here? I think there's just... Hey! Oh! What's that? Strength! Ooh, nice. Thanks, man. Sick. Cross chop. Uh, that's... I mean, that'd be good for my Kadabra with no guard. Yeah, okay, so I... I'm now really regretting that I didn't get the uh, the old rod, but hey, we can catch something in mountain water. <gasps> okay, yeah, we're definitely using this over Tempest. Is that a is that a thing I can do in this? Uh, someone has requested that I put the screens next to each other instead of stacking them. I don't have a uh, a big preference, so I can I can do that next video. Uh, I was I, uh, hang on, let's see view LCLs vertical horizontal. There we go, easy peasy. Uh, I've got some weird stuff up the top because of when I chose to do that, but that's no big. So let me know if you prefer this, and uh, everyone on YouTube can let me know as well, but remember YouTube viewers. So I uploaded part two today on YouTube, and this is part seven. So you're pretty far behind. This is a Dragon Dance Torchic. I really want to use it. Alright, so this is better for the, the person with visual difficulties to see. As another person with visual difficulties, 
I genuinely empathize quite a bit with Free Tempest. So YouTube viewers, I'm sorry if this doesn't look as nice to you, but I am going to stick with this now. Uh, solidarity, brother. I don't really think I can hit it with anything. Like, maybe Cut wouldn't KO it, but... Uh, let's just keep throwing balls. Actually, no, I like this too. It makes it bigger because it's, there's more room to work with. Yeah, this is this is good. I didn't even think of this. I just like downloaded the emulator and was like, hup, hup, go. Stay in the ball. I mean, I get it. I haven't done anything to convince you to stay in the ball. But now you're scaring me, Dragon Dance Torchic. I really don't want to like use an attack and weaken it. Oh yeah, you're right. The right hand side is cut off a little bit, but I think that's something I can probably fix by going into OBS. I'm using OBS to stream this. It's not a big deal right now, so I think I might spend like a second. All right, so I can do that. Can I like squish it a bit? <laughs> now you can't see shit. Take that audience. Alright, so this is, like, there's a bit of dead screen on the top and bottom, but at least this way you have the whole screen in there. Let me, I think this is okay, let me know. I want your input. That's great? Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I've been told to hold down and B. Do you mean B on the keyboard or B on the Pokemon input? I'm joking, of course, I know you mean the Pokemon input. While I have not been paying attention, Not Hypno has taken a lot of damage. Is there someone who I can like switch in who will take attacks from a pretty fucking buff Torchic and not KO it? Like I'm hesitant to switch in from. Like look at that def that defense is not good. But if I can get him in there, Psycho Cup probably won't KO. But now let's just switch in Rob Spear because Rob Spear can at least heal himself with uh, Moonlight. So let's use some more Pokeballs if if it doesn't stay. I shouldn't be using speed. I also, I'm not level grinding right now. Why am I still listening to the Sid? There we go. There we go. Uh, this, is, this is the way we're meant to be doing it. I really want this fucking torture. I mean, it's pretty fast right now. It used Dragon Dance a bunch. Bullshit. Now it's 60 down to 48, so it did 12 damage. That's fine. Honestly, that makes me feel a bit more secure about switching in Kadabra. I should probably do it sooner rather than later, too, because if it keeps using Dragon Dance, it just gets harder. Or I can just catch it. Raw Dog. Alright, so my Torchic's original nickname in the Emerald run was like Captain Crunch or something. A lot of people didn't like it and then it died. Uh, anyone got a good name for this? KFC feels a bit mean-spirited, frankly. Uh, how about... I was talking about Worm recently. So, let's... So the author of Worm is Wild Bow. This is... Oh, I sp spelled wrong. And you told me I can use the mouse right. So Wild Bow, meet Wild Fowl. There we go. How's that? Oh, Free Tempest went for uh, Friday, but sorry, too slow. Or I wasn't. Or you got that in on time, and I just didn't look at the second mod to see that you had suggested the name. But uh, hey, you got two Pokemon named in the last part. I think we can say that you're still pretty satisfied. Oh, this is way easier to see. Why did I not think of this five parts ago? Please come back anytime. I will, frequently. Which one was
will you take? Uh, sorry, Tempest. Oh yeah, we're using deposit when we should be using move. Let's grab that chicken! Alright, so with the music having been paused... Oh, you should keep giving me ideas, even if I don't use them, I'm very appreciative of their existence. Pick up! <laughs> Actually, its ability is going to change when it evolves, I think. So, Fire Fang, Tri Attack, Hyper Fang, Dragon Dance. So, this is pretty good. I'd like a more accurate move than Fire Fang. Like, I'll take Fire Punch. Tri Attack's obviously special. Hyper Fang can miss a bit as well. So, we're not going to give it new attacks yet. We're going to pop it where Big Tempest is. Get that egg off of Big Tempest. Come back to Wildfowl. Yeah, this Torchic is bonkers, eh? Yeah, Claw Fossil. There's a Helix and Dome. So that's not Kabo That's not uh, Kabuto. But it might be... Armaldo? Aha! I like saying aha. Alright, yeah, I was gonna uh, re enter grinding mode, which meant putting on more music. So that meant I had to pick music, and I'm, I listen to so much music, but I'm bad at picking it on the spot. Props, yeah, distract them while I pick music. Okay, they'll do. So, this time we're going to be listening to a quintessentially Aussie band known as The Chats. I fully recommend listening to these guys and watching, like, the music video that comes along with it. It really enhances stuff. This is a uh, music video noise right now, but the actual song will start. Anorith, right, yeah, it was correct. Fast forward! Beards? Kind of folk rock. Okay, I'll check out the beards. We'll uh, put them on in not this part. But probably in a future one if I like the music. So no promises, but I'll listen. So I guess I'll promise that. Damn, that executor will put up a fight. If your dad doesn't have a beard, then he's your mom. Oh crap, my dad's my mom. I've got a little bit of a beard right now. Normally I need to shave for my job, but I'm uh, getting a quarantine beard. A couple of us thought it'd be funny. Mimic? Nope. Oh yeah, it's already evolved. Yeah, my dad doesn't have a beard, but he's a big tough man anyway. So, he's still my dad. Yeah, Combuskin. We'll try to make that thing into an actual uh, Blaziken. the charge eating a meal a succulent Chinese meal you should consider having sex with a bearded man is good also there's nothing better than a beard okay I'm gonna assume that's a song title but if it's advice duly noted oh yeah I should check the ability is is, is uh, wildfowl's ability still pick up I don't expect Tyrant to be the most relevant. Uh, let's see if I've got a good TM. I know I've got another Shadow Claw, but maybe not every single one of my Pokemon needs Shadow Claw. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I think I'll give it Strength, because I need something to happen anyway. Strength's a move, you know. Strong, uh, uh, strong enough and accurate. I do need to remember to move my cursor off. I'm like one of those old just like, Yeah! 
Alright, so I really like this music, but maybe I'm realizing it's not the best for streaming because it's music that yeah, like is better when you're listening to it. Like the rhythm itself is just kind of like there. Fighting type stab, physical. What's your uh, stats actually looking like right now? Yeah. Wow, that's a closer distribution than I thought. Look, yeah. That thing's gonna sweep like a motherfucker. Alright, instead of the chats, let's just go for something more mellow. Relaxing Pokemon Music Compilation Volume 1. Yeah. Now this is this is real nice to listen to as well, isn't it? Although uh, Wildfowl does not really change anything about Hodgecrow specifically having a rough typing. There's your Veltal, that doesn't exist in this generation. I think Honchkrow's the only flying dark running around right now, so it's not too big a deal. If I'm wrong, I'll post a comment in this web zone telling me that I'm wrong about flying dark. I could be, there could be another one, like, just off to the side that I've forgotten. Obviously, there's Murkrow. Don't fucking come at me and be like, you forgot Murkrow. Leveling up, just doing the grind. These core fish have had bonkers movesets, so we're definitely not staying against them. Good job, Big Tempest. Big Tempest is a uh, is going to be a linchpin of this team. It only takes a full the. So the, the, my, my Twitch audience is still talking about the Beards, the band. Uh, they're, they're really hyping them up quite a bit, so I'm going to have to listen to the Mandibuzz. I did not say Mandibuzz, you're right. Mandibuzz is another dark flying type that escaped my mind. Good catch. Yeah, we pay that. Although Mandibuzz is not 4th gen, so it's not a threat in this game. But hey, it still counts. Um... Yeah, so they're talking about that band, and they're, they're listing some of the songs and song titles, and I'm like, yeah, this seems like my kind of funny. Like, I think beards are great, and the acoustic version of It Only Takes a Fortnite to Grow a Decent Beard. And I'm going to be honest, like, I've got my quarantine beard coming in. It's going to take more than a fortnight to have nice facial hair. My facial hair, like, it grows in too much on my neck. So right now, this is like a uh, quarantine beard. If I'm gonna transition it to an actual beard, I'm gonna have to do a fair bit of like maintenance, like shaving my neck but leaving it on my chin. And it doesn't really grow in on the face so much. I got a good mustache, but you know, if you grow a mustache, you just look like a meadow. So I'm really good at distracting myself enough that I stop like doing what I'm meant to be doing in the game, and then I. I'm just sitting here talking to you guys. Not the worst thing in the world, but this is going to go on for a really long time if I keep stop inputting buttons. Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to grow, like, nice-looking facial hair, but nah, mine just comes in super naff, like some of the, the Twitch audiences. So, how dare we be shamed for our lack of facial hair. Our fault, damn it! We're not to blame. It's the gypsy girl, the witch who set this flame. Disney music is also quite good music, but I don't think I'm gonna try to squeeze that in here too. Yeah, 22. Like we're pretty close to a point where we can just go back in and like. 
play normally again. I'll just stop listening to the music in the background and level grinding. Uh, we'll go for a little bit longer. We'll get to like 24-ish and then just leave Wildfowl to start up the party while we work. Whoa, that was a fuck ton of damage. Was that just Crab Hammer? Or just, like, it's, I saw it use Crab Hammer the first time. Was that just two Crab Hammers and it did that much? Everyone's looking a bit dinked up on my heel after this one. Just play it safe. Scared me, scared me. I'm sure there's going to be at least one person who's really bothered by the, uh, like the visual effect of Dragon Dance up in the top left. But, eh, I'm not that person. Take this, Aridos. Ariados, Ariados. So, I read a lot. And I don't actually say a lot of the words I read for a long time. So I internalize this assumption of how they're pronounced, and then when I finally do use them out loud, I get a lot of weird looks. Everyone gets that Pokemon names. Like Arceus, 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 is he even a third? I, I lean pretty heavily on Arceus myself, although I do sometimes think about Arceus. This is good fun. This is a good way to spend your Pokemon game. Just kick back and just do some safe leveling so that everyone's nice and well protected. Pretty close to moving on. Why did I? Thank you for using the future side, I guess. Rocks be a safe. Yeah, wildflowers. Wildflowers look pretty good now. Now, There are a couple of Pokemon I have now that I'm going to feel like genuine guilt if I let them die. Like, Big Tempest is one, Wildfowl is another. I'll, I'll feel a bit silly. If, honestly, if Robespierre dies, that's just going to be thematically appropriate. He needs to die to an Oko move himself. He needs to get hit by Guillotine. Alright. Pause relaxing Pokemon music. Everyone, we're at 641 in relaxing Pokemon music volume 1. Uh, next time we do level grinding, we'll try to start from there. The music so we can just sort of flow on. Alright, so stop holding space by you dingbat. Alright guys. Ekrutik City, or Eureka Teak? Eureka Tiki City. No trespassing by the unworthy. Well, that can't be me, because I'm the player character. I can't even imagine a Pokemon flying overhead. You are not a very imaginative monk. I hear the Kimono Girls. I might go do those and then... Actually, no. Before we do the Kimono Girls or the gym, let's, uh, let's go into Burnt Town. Look at that Raticate up there. Cute. Hey, look. It's Legendary Dogs. And hey, look. It's Crystal Version. Side Quest Man. And it's the gym leader. I will always respect the unrelenting tenacity of early Pokemon protagonists getting their shit kicked in by you every time, and then the next time you see them being like, oh, I'm gonna kick your shit in again. Like, bruh. What do we reckon, guys? Nah, he's probably gonna use, like, curse or something. So I will say, I think some of the settings of this randomizer means that, like, overworld Pokemon are the Pokemon they look like, so like that Sudowoodo earlier, who was still a Sudowoodo, I think we'll encounter the same thing with Polo. Yeah, curse. Called it. Shadow Ball, right? 
Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, the later Komodo Girl fight is kind of intimidating. So is this mean look. I'm really glad I switched what I did. Bye, Gasly. What's the matter? You turn levels below Rob Spier? I think on another part, when I'm bored, I'll just, like, pop open Wikipedia and just read the Wikipedia article about Rob Spier. It is the height of comedy. Because it basically goes, then he got angry at these people and guillotined all of them. Then he got angry at these people who were upset about all of the guillotining. So he guillotined them. These other people complained, hey, Rob Spier, stop guillotining everyone. So he guillotined them. And it, it goes on like that for a fair while, and then it eventually ends with, he got, everyone got sick of Robespierre, so they guillotined him. That's the uh, short form of the French Revolution. There you go. Well, one of the French Revolutions. The joke that I don't like is, haha, France, France are surrender monkeys. Because holy crap, if you'd like... The French are so willing to dive headfirst into insane conflicts, and they normally win. Like, even, even in World War II, like, yeah, sure, the government toppled over, and then what did the people do? They were insane! The French people responded to World War II with just, like, incredible terror campaigns. Just like, alright, insurgency, here we go. Oh, Pokemon! Yes! Sick! I'm gonna catch this this cookie. But not leaving Wildfowl. Cause uh health. Yeah, Rob's video was definitely a top. Focus punching. How much damage is this gonna do? Do I have to be concerned? Okay, now it's crit. So. Alright, you take damage from fire. He hasn't demonstrated any fire, but he has demonstrated punishment. I think Rob's be a he'll be okay. High crit ratio. Focus punch has a high crit ratio. No, it's got like a crazy base damage, but uh, I guess I can believe that it has that, yeah. Makes sense. Stay in the ball. Get the flask. I'm gonna have to buy some more of these as well. I'm gonna be down to like 10 when I count the weird ones. Oh yeah, Shadow Ball has a high crit ratio. Yeah, I was... I was cognition to that fact. Ouch! Not punishment. Punish me, mummy. Alright, I feel like... I already regret saying that. I'm sorry guys, let's go. This hand boom's gonna stay, so we're not gonna get hit by focus punch. Called it. If you predict it every time and then you get it right, that means you're good at predicting. Yeah, if it shoots you with its flames, the pain will never go away. Hand doom, that shit gave me nightmares. Genuinely. Uh, I should have switched to it in the front of my party. I don't wanna run with someone who's low health, just in case, like, they then, like, can't get away and get hit by, like, a hydro pump or something. So, switch and then leave. And having, having noted that I should switch through to the front of my party, you know what I'm gonna do? Not. 
Why do I attempt to take? That press would have been cool to have in the back pocket, but so is so, so my god. Check what ability it has once we've healed. I could do one of those runs where like you're using more than your, your like party of six, so you're like constantly switching out, but that would require uh, like attentiveness that I'm not sure I can deliver here. Overgrown. Okay. <laughs> also on burden core fishes. Lol as well. Call the big one, Bitey. The big one. What? Who's the big one? What? I'm ignorant. I'm confused. What lovely area music. Eradicate. Alright, let's go scare these dogos. Outstanding Simpson friends. Thank you. Monorail. Right. It was a Simpsons reference. Damn. I got got, everyone. Twitch Twitch chat set me up and then they knocked me down with the Simpsons joke. Entei's the coolest of these three because it was in the third movie, and that thing was a trip. Seriously, the third Pokemon movie was wild. Not, not to go all TMI on you, but, uh... Not gonna finish that sentence. Nope. We're just gonna leave this place. Oh, man, the first Pokemon movie made everyone cry. There's absolutely no shame in that. So, everyone agrees that the three Pokemon that died, that Ho-Oh then brought back, were evolutions, right? And then the revival turned them into the legendary dogs. Yeah, everyone cried watching the first movie. Everyone, everyone thinks that uh, that Lugia's song is a total banger. Lugia's song is great. And the third movie was completely wild and I'm sure inspired everyone like awoke something in a great many people. Oh, whoa! Uh, th th you guys haven't heard this theory? Okay, yeah, the theory is that actually, yeah, that's pretty much it. I finished the theory. Uh, the three Pokemon that died in the Burned Tower were Evolutions, and when they died, Ho-Oh used Sacred Ash to revive them, and it empowered them and turned them into the legendary dogs. There we go. That's that's just a theory. She's just hanging out and watching, because she knows I'm here. What if, if I leave? They'll just wait for me. You dare get in my way! I'm a drunk Team Rocket Grunt! A level 12 coughing? Oh my god! This kimono girl could totally have handled this herself. We all know that, right? Yeah, we all get it. My enemy coughing. Nice. Nice! Yes, you did. I wonder how that could have happened. You already looked like a villain, you drunk god. There are tears to Team Rocket villains? That person. Are you referring to one of the other Komodo girls or like someone different? Is this where I get Surf? This might be where I get Surf. <gasps> Good news, guys. Your levels are perhaps a little high. Yeah, my Pokemon might be a touch high leveled for what we're dealing with here. But, I already had one wide out. We're all paranoid on it. Yeah! Surf, I'm gonna 
man, Surf is such a crazy good move. Like, every other TM is kind of ass. The HM is, like, decent at best. And then they're like, oh, by the way, here's Surf. 95 base power. I think later they nerf it, and it's still great. Like, they bring it down to 90, and it's still just really good. Like, especially in VGC. Like, oh my god, VGC Surf is... So yeah, we're stapling it onto our two special attackers now. Yeah, you're not using Confusion now, you're using Surf. Let's see how short this music loop is. It's like 20 seconds. Not that there's anything wrong with that, they don't expect you to spend a heap of time here the first time you go. Alright, let's go in here and... Oh yeah, what did my mum buy? Okay. I didn't need that, because I had two Pokemon with Stench, and then I killed them with my negligence. I am a bad Pokey Dad. Yeah, it's not like all of the HMs are terrible. Like, like you said, Waterfall is good for, like, physical water attackers, specifically Gyarados. Although my Polyrath would also appreciate it. And Rock Climb isn't terrible, but it's also, like, not perfect ac- Like, I- I really like 100 accuracy. I don't like relying on moves that are gonna miss, like, 1 in 10 times. I will be anyone's Pokédad if they want me to be. Has this gym work again? I said I wasn't gonna talk to this guy, so I'm not gonna talk to this guy, but I don't remember what the gimmick here is. Alright, Ghost Gym. Honestly, tempted to just let Robespierre, like, Shadow Claw, sort of straight through all of it, but... It might pop not Hypno up front, so it can get the levels. Although Wildfowl also needs levels, and can evolve from leveling, so... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll put not Hypno and give him the Lucky Egg. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was X and Y. In X and Y, you could just buy Premium and that was genuinely great. But you could also get them for free in X and Y if you were really willing to waste your own time. So, you know, that was good. Uh, what you had to do was there were the passing powers where you could string pass powers or something. There was one where the buy power, it halves the cost of items for a limited time. So you'd use that on yourself and it would halve the cost of items. So you'd go buy 10 Pokeballs at half price, 1,000. Pokey, and you'd get the premium ball, and then you'd keep doing it. But you sell items at half their value too. So you would sell those Poke Pokeballs back, and get the total value you pay, and the power only lasts for three minutes, but it only wears off when you're not doing anything. So as long as you're talking to the shopkeeper, you could just keep doing it for as long as you could be bothered to buy and sell Pokeballs in allotments of ten. So you could get as many Premier Balls as you wanted completely free. It's not like they were expensive. It was more just like having fun with exploiting the fact that you could do it. It was stonks. And yeah, there was the, there was the shop where you could buy all the weird Pokeball variants for free. And that was great. And I'm somewhat resentful of the fact that it doesn't exist. This medium really was leaning on the fact that I would only have Cherish balls, do anything special. No, I don't think they do. I think they just are a nice looking one. Which is a shame, but I don't think you can get them naturally, right? Like, I think the only way you get a Pokemon in a Cherish Ball is if you get like a downloaded event Pokemon and it's in a Cherish Ball. I had the Cherish Ball in this run because the randomizer means that the field items are randomized to me. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm confident enough to say it out loud. Yeah, this medium... Ooh, can you beat my five Pokémon at the same time? Hey, why... Oh my god... Who turned out the lights? I should probably disable the running shoes for this, eh? Defeat me if you want to hit. Well, I have to literally defeat you. Pokémon Reborn will definitely make me rage if I uh, read it. What's... Uh, engagement? What's Pokémon...
Pokemon Recall design would make me rage. I mean, sometimes it's fun to get, like, a righteous anger bubbling up in your blood, so long as it's not, like, your main way of spending time. Like, if, you, if you're doing that every single day, it's probably a little bit unhealthy, and you're going to weird people out at parties. But, you know, every now and then it's fun. It's a fan-made Pokemon game that's quite difficult and has annoying puzzles. I'm gonna be honest, I've never really engaged with, like, fan games for Pokemon. It's not out of, like, a aversion to them, it's just I haven't done them. So, maybe I'll give it a shot. Bath is right before our eyes. Thanks, lady. Ooh, you're walking all the way up to me from there. One year. Yeah, I know that there are really good Pokemon fan games. I played some Fire Emblem games. I, made, I was part of a community that made one. It was just like, it was full of inside jokes and we never finished. Cause we were all like 14 through 17. But it was fun. But yeah, I, I know, I've seen some really cool Pokemon romance and stuff. This is honestly, this could quite possibly be my first time playing a non-traditional Pokemon game. Oh my god, how many gym trainers are there in here? Wait, did you just cut me off? Oh no, I gotta go. Okay. accessible TMs, because like, it's a bomb, because there are not very many Pokemon that resist it, and it's exactly what I wanted. Accurate, strong enough, and very reliable. Not Hypno has gained a fucked up experience from this gym. Thank you, Ghost Gym. Everyone likes the ghastly line. Haunt is cooler than Gengar, everyone acknowledges it. They're all still It would have been cool if Gengar was a bit closer to the Haunter, Haunter Ghastly aesthetic, where it was like disembodied. Just make it Rayman. Make, make, make Gengar Rayman. How long have I missed? I mean, this is as good an opportunity as anyway to go back and heal. Mother? Thank you. Fair enough. I have a couple of Pokemon plushies myself. I had a friend who went to Japan a few years ago and he got me a, a funny little uh, Alolan Executor. Alolan Executor is so hilarious. Music might be slightly too loud. Oh right, I never dropped the music levels after I was doing the montage. Thank you for letting me know. Sorry I've left it like that for a while. That should be okay where it is now, but please don't hesitate to... Tell me if it needs to be altered further. Cool. We're happy with that. Uh, and I have a, a Dratini and a Dragonair, but the Dratini is a lot bigger than the Dragonair. I also have a, uh, a uh, Mega Beedrill statue that I paid an American woman to sculpt for me years and years ago, where I had the kind of money and time to do that. It cost me $200. It's incredibly well done, and I'm very appreciative to her. Her name was Emily Sculpts. Uh, so... Uh, that person's not you, bruh. So, if you want to see, like, cool Pokemon figurines, I don't think she does Pokemon anymore. I think she only does OC, because she wanted to... To like not be at risk of copyright claims, and she's definitely good enough to like set her own boundaries like that. So you should look at Emily Sculpts for really cool sculptures. She posted professionally done photos of my Mega Beedrill statue when she made it, like a good five years ago, I think. Uh, 
Uh, Arcanine's a really cool Pokemon to have as a favorite Pokemon, and it's very nice when your friends recognize and get you cool things based on your personal preference of a media. So that was a nice gift from them. And there's nothing wrong with having too many plushies. Not Hypno is asleep, but honestly not too concerned. We'll stay in. Oh yeah, Sucker Punch totally still works on sleeping Pokemon. Wow, I'm surprised that Gengar tanked that. Or tank another even with the citrus healing though. So we're good. Oh whoa, I have been rendered incorrect. How about that? But we're still uh, sitting pretty pretty against this gym. Oh come on, Morty. Don't waste my motherfucking time. Ah, oh, come on, Morty. Now I'm slightly uncomfortable. Now I'm more uncomfortable. I am very uncomfortable. I am very, very uncomfortable. Can't switch out because I mean, look, I need this to crit. about that. I am an unhappy chappy. You mess with the revolution, you get the revolution! It it works on multiple levels that so my hit on top is named Robespierre, because revolution. Uh, don't you start... Don't you do this shit again to me, Gengar. I should have had a full heal or an awakening or something. I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh, I'm actually thinking maybe X special defense, but uh, also Shadow Claw will just KO it if I hit. I swear to God, if I lose Rob's beer as well. All right, that looks okay. I need to buy some healing items, some more super potions. that it's outspeeding me. 33 to 15. Ah, oh, and a special defense drop. I can't switch. Can't switch, guys. gonna get the defense boost early and then use another one because the speed boost means when I do wake up I'm gonna outspeed it Ugh. I knew that he had a Gengar in the back if I was playing smarter I would have special defense boosted on his first Pokemon so that, like, look at this. This is nothing. And thanks, dick. Yeah, and it hasn't missed a fucking hypnosis. God damn, they really built the gym leaders different in Johto, didn't they? They fed these guys something else. These guys, Weedabix, have a little bit more in their brain, if you know what I mean. Are you fucking with me right now?
I can't believe this is going so poorly. These guys, the wheat picks, have so much Vegemite. Uh, Seamus is a cool wrestler. It's clever to name your Arcanines after Seamus. Just gonna throw that out there in response to a, a Twitch comment that came in when I was busy losing my fucking mind over this battle. Fucking prick. Got him. Yeah, you should be cautious of this Shadow Claw, motherfucker. I can't believe I lost Robespierre. Robespierre was cool. And you didn't even kill him with guillotine. Have you no sense of theming, Morty? Themes! My themes! I love themes. Beat the gym at steep cost. Not as steep as Whitney was. When I go up against the next gym leader, oh, I'm gonna be so over leveled for that. Sheamus isn't my personal favorite wrestler, but I do really like him. I I like a lot of wrestlers though. I think John Moxley is probably a favorite. And oh no, Oscar, Oscar and John Moxley for for men's divisions and women women's divisions. Personally. Yeah, both of my fighting types are going. I've got Wildfowl at least. But come on. Come on. And then he's just like chatting with me after murdering my Pokemon. Like Dick, can I get a minute? Oh yeah, we can all hate John Cena the character while well, respecting John Cena the man. Everyone knows the difference though, everyone understands the distinction. Mama, you Mom, I really need some someone to console me right now. Some of my Pokemon died again. No, Mom Mom, I've been meaning to talk about this. The the creditors are calling and Mom? Oh, okay. Rest in peace, Robespierre. Taken too soon. Motor Drive Polyworld was cool. Alright, well, welcome to the team. And Giraffe Rig's got Surf, so I don't really need the... Alright, I guess we're having both Tempests on after all. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, I like wrestling. I don't keep up with it super frequently. I normally have a subscription to the WWE Network. I'm quite interested in how WrestleMania is going to shake out this year. What with the uh, whole empty arena two nights thing. Uh, I pay a bit more attention to AEW. I don't even watch them super regularly, but I like them quite a bit and I want them to succeed just because it's something different. Uh, I also have a... I was gifted for Christmas a six-month subscription to Figure Four Wrestling. That's like where Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez do their thing, if you know their names. They're big names in the like wrestling journalism industry. And they're some of the not-scuzzy members of that industry, so I quite enjoy listening to them. Yeah, like, problematic booking in WWE is a big turn-off for a lot of people. I can understand getting sick of it. Uh, yeah, I came back, like, I watched when I was a little kid, and then WrestleMania 30, like, I watched from, like, maybe 2002 to 2005. And then WrestleMania 30, why did I use Shadow Claw? WrestleMania 30 came out. Was like, oh, whoa, The Undertaker's still wrestling. I'll watch this. And then I watched it. I got hooked on Daniel Bryan watching WrestleMania 30. How could you not? That was magical. And then, like, I kept watching a bit, and I got into The Shield as well. Then I started watching NXT, and I got to stuff there. And I've dropped off a lot in subsequent years, but that was a lot of fun. Yes. 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 
I imagine the majority of a Pokemon Nuzlocke audience is not going to also be a wrestling audience, although I say that as a person who watches both of those mediums myself. Ooh, you've had a cousin doing local wrestling, Obsidian Valkyrie. That does sound pretty cool. I've, I've gone to a couple of local shows, my local promotions, Melbourne City Wrestling. They're, they're a lot of fun, they're cool. Kill it, drown this beast. Hang on, I'm doing level grinding right now. Alright guys, I actually didn't set a timer for this part. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go back to relaxing Pokemon music. And we're just going to keep level grinding. I was not level grinding with even the slightest bit of focus there, was I? I was too engaged in my conversation. We're going to get Tempest and Houndoom leveled up a bit. And then we'll call it a part there. Melbourne is a very nice city. Good place to live. Expensive, but you mentioned living in Sydney, I think. And Sydney's crazy expensive too. So, you know, come on down. Of course, you have to wait for this global pandemic situation to be over, which is, it's important that we take it seriously and just do what the smart people tell us to do. Smart people not necessarily meaning the people in charge, because our government is not super competent. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, I was meant to be going to Japan in June with a large group of friends. We'd all been saving a relatively long amount of time so we could make it be phenomenal. But, uh, yeah, I don't get to go to Japan this year, I think. <laughs> Which is a real, it was a, a genuine shame. And I know that this situation is going to hit a lot more people a lot harder than disrupting their holiday plans that can be moved. So even, hang on, something went on there that I wasn't paying enough attention to. Even with that, I'm still like appreciative that I'm lucky enough not to be impacted severely by this. Yeah, I'm not working right now, but I'll have a job on the other side of this. My workplace guarantees that because we've got a strong union. A lot of people are worse off than me, but I can still sort of acknowledge that, ooh, this situation is not super comfortable. We all can. And then we can help each other out. We can uh, start streaming again so people have something fun to watch while they stay at home. We can commiserate with our friends whose gigs got cancelled because they, you know, the gig economy closed down functionally, which is a shame. Uh, if you're in into classical music at all, the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra had some concerts cancelled. So since then they've been doing like live streams of their concerts where and like it's funny you can watch them and like all the musicians are set uh, like sitting far apart so they're doing social distancing and it makes a, a a unique viewing experience so watch the melbourne symphony orchestra they they did good performances recently uh scheherazade is a very impressive concert they did quite recently my mother had tickets to that and couldn't go Hang on. <laughs> so we are still listening to relaxing Pokemon music, which probably means I should turn the music back up. I'll turn it back down when we stop listening to the relaxing Pokemon music. But by pure coincidence, the, the track we're currently listening to is the track for this city. So let me know if this music is too loud now. Hopefully it's not the easy fix if it is. NAW, I don't know that wrestling promotion unfortunately, but you know, there's there's a million like local indie scenes where people like cut their teeth on it and, and get into it and have fun. It's a really fun Oh, they have a place now again. Nice. It's a really fun environment going to an indie wrestling show. Like it's not the highest possible tier of performing, but it's people working their fucking hearts out, and everyone who's there sort of knows that the performers are going to be trying their absolute hardest, so everyone's sort of like into it to encourage them simultaneously. It's cool. It's fun. It's engaging. And there's like drinks and stuff flying. U-turn. I do wish I could use it, but uh, uh, look, it's better than mirror move, I guess. And we're keeping roost and defend order. We're 
weirdly, Tempest is going to have a way more defensive moveset than uh, Big Tempest. I keep using a silly attack. That's fine though, because Big Tempest is rewarding me. We're getting close to the levels where I can actually just sort of leave Big Temp uh, normal sized Tempest in and feel comfortable. Yeah, I have no idea how long this part is. You guys will have more of an idea than us YouTube viewers. So, apologies if it's a bit out of sync with the rest of this, but again, just relax. This is a nice track. Yeah. Ha! Thank you for missing, enemy. I appreciate it. Not staying in against that. No, no, no. Not staying in against that. Tropius is still cool. I think Pluck will hit it neutrally. No, super effective, right? Flying doesn't resist flying. Ooh, that wasn't smart because I'm part bug. This is a very good track. Emotion. What would be my favorite m music track in all of Pokemon? Hmm. Hard to say. Maybe... Maybe the black and white rival theme? That's a real banger. Maybe Gladian's theme. I really, I really like Gladian's theme as well. A lot of the rival themes, they put a lot of work into making them banging. I rank most of them pretty highly. Yeah, you can just block, I think. Yeah, oh no, rain dance. Yeah, I don't think you'll oko it yet, so uh, double read. That was definitely the right play. Oh my god, Brave Bird and Aero Blast, calm down. Bug Bite instead of a yes, so you just have two moves that are like, your berry is now mine. <laughs> the user eats it and gains its effect. The user plucks it and gains its effect. <laughs> That's a bit silly. Ideally, we'll get to... Uh, um, X scissor or something to replace my bug bite. I'm not quite sure what move would be better than uh, pluck while still guaranteeing the accuracy. Maybe something like wing, wing attacks. Stronger while sealing the same accuracy. Oh, yeah, black and white's bike music is also quite good. There's a video about egg catching that uses that song. Okay. Jacked up, Jacked up. I actually think the White Album is Weezer's best album, and I understand that they're very, very old men in the White Album, and I still like it. Slightly too loud, but only slightly. That's fine. Thank you for letting me know. Let's drop it like that much. That shouldn't be a huge drop. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we're not staying in against that because we're quad weak to it. I think. I think. Is bug weak to ice as well? Half the fucking typings are weak to ice. Alright, how are we actually doing right now for levels? It sure feels like I've been. This part's gonna be a long one, but I'm not too fast. 
Uh, let's give Tempest another, like, let's get him to, like, 24-ish. I almost feel like 24 is a bit low. Bug is not weak to ice. I stand corrected. Okay. 24 is maybe a bit low. I think that's rough. Like, what was the Gengar at? 25? And I beat the Gengar, so I'm going to be facing things stronger than that. But, eh. Can these Tropiuses stop having, like, a bonkers move? Tempest and Big Tempest. Good friends. Flying, Ground, Grass, and Dragon are weak to ice. Okay, so just two of the best offensive typings and one of the most common support typings, and also Grass. Support typings. Secondary typing is, of course, the word I meant to use to describe flying. Well, we are not going to stay in for a stone edge because I know for sure that bug is weak to rock. And so is flying. Man, isn't it crazy that for, like, ever now they've just been like, yeah, it's fine that the stealth rock deals type based damage so if you're f if you're like quad weak to rock you just don't even want to switch into it that's fine like isn't it crazy that they're just a-okay with that oops man i really am lucky to have this lucky Stay in dingbat. You've changed which Pokemon you're training. I would have liked to keep using Rompspear. I'm disappointed in myself for letting two hit on tops down now. Beat up. I don't think I want beat up. Nope. I'm just gonna stick with, uh... Ah, fine, we'll swap out Punishment. In before, that was, like, a terrible decision that comes back to bite me in 50 hours. actually love this song. Fortree City, I think. I'm going to check now that I've said that out loud. Yeah, Fortree City. both have defend order, but this one has roost and that one doesn't. Alright, get this thing up like another 10 levels and then we'll be uh, ending the part. Easy peasy. I suppose I could have given Double Vision like a JoJo name. Like it's got two heads like King Crimson. But eh, Double Vision is cutesy. I'm sure it would be nice if my Fire Dark type had a Fire type attack as well. I think I can leave him in against the uh, Executors since they're just using Future Sight. <laughs> I've run out of, like, conversational energy, so... 
this part will be the end of the recording session for tonight. For those of you who are interested in like the blocks I record in. Part 15 of Emerald is still my favorite video title. Some of your best work. I think I know exactly to what you were referring and I concur. Uh, I will say, I think the funniest video we ever produced, myself and the other people I recorded with, was part nine of the Let's Play Mario Party we did on the Counter and Operative Commentaries channel. Matthew getting so, like getting the, the dice block that he wanted, and then seeing the item shuffle and saying, if we land on that, I'm going to puke. And then, like, things getting worse from him from there is just... It's just so beautiful. Well, those tropius is concerning. I think I might need to heal so that I don't cop it too badly from them. What move? Taunt? I mean, good move, but not in this format. Real good move, but yeah, not here. Big heals coming in. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Yay! Just keep at it. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do when we swim? Might as well use this to get... Oh, come off it. Come off it. Come off it. Thank you. You came off it. There we go. Fast forward is so quick that I'm not really keeping track of what's going on, so I do need to keep like something on upstairs in the brain space. What's what's your stats looking like right now? Like your moveset is hot, spicy garbage. And I'd appreciate like it not being that. Let's see what we got to work with in here. Tailwind, Force Plant, eh, Absorb, eh, it's so weak, no, too weak, oh, too over the top, too derivative, eh, why not, isn't exactly going to kill me, so fuck it! Alright, this time we're switching. Better not freeze me again, you prick. not super threatening, but it's not like the type of event. Oh yeah, the, the type of event. Just super threatening. I don't know why I was pretending. Oh yeah, it, doesn't it suck when you look for like a, f like a YouTube thing you mostly remember and it's not there? Like sometimes I look in my favorited videos and there's like two or three spots where it's like this video is no longer available and just a little bit of me yearns for that. Alright, I've been recording for well over an hour at this point but we're still going because I said we'd go until this thing's level uh, 20 something. Yeah, like a small part of me yearns to know what it is and mourns the fact that I don't remember in the slightest and I'll never find it again. It's just this thing in my past that's gone. That's what I was to all of you until I started recording again. Hello everyone, it's me. Seriously, what the fuck is with these tropiuses? I feel like 
the wild Pokemon have been this level range for a really long time now. Probably because I stalled out. Yeah, definitely because I stalled out and lost six Pokemon to a gym, so I had to train again, and then lost two more and have to train again. So there hasn't been, like, much game progression for a fair while now. <laughs> yeah, uh, good news to all of you is that none of us involved in counteroptive commentaries overdosed on anything and died. We're all still kicking and living slightly more adult lives than we were back in the day. And mostly hanging out. Some of us don't hang out as often as we used to, but you know, that's a very normal part of growing up. We're still good friends and we get along, just we are not learning bye to come off it. Yeah. I mean, I said 25, didn't I? I think I, I would send that a bit lower. Get him somewhere like 20 something for sure. Maybe just 22. 20, 23, 23 guys. Alright, insane Tropius coming in. 22! The people have spoken, I think they want to go to bed as well. That makes sense. We'll get this Hound Doom to 22, and then uh, call it a night. Call it an end of an episode. However long this part has wound up being. Probably like an hour and a half. That's, that's my guesstimation. It's past midnight now, so I want to finish up and go to bed, go walk my dog in the morning. It's important to keep him happy. What move did you use? Snatch? I think it was Snatch. My dog is a Border Collie. He is... Named Frank, because he has blue eyes like Frank Sinatra, old blue eyes. He's a very good boy. He's a bit old now, but he's very, very gentle and loving. He's a great dog. Ooh! 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 Nasty plot! Ooh! Uh, sorry, Big Tempest, you're not learning charm. Yeah, he's a very, very cute dog. I'm lucky to have. Post a comment in the YouTube video if you have a pet and tell us about it. I'll read all the comments and be like, cool, pets, I'm glad they exist and people are happy with them. That is a fun little activity for everyone. Or you can just post what kind of pet you would want. Like, would you want a dog? I've, I've always been slightly enamored with the idea of having a snake. Oh, he's level 22 already. Yeah, I'll just keep going for one more. Actually, no, let's just finish here. Pet Arcanine, yeah, that would be nice, but <sighs> I'd go for a pet Dragonair, a flying magical snake thing that can control the weather. Yeah. All right, this are you proud of me, everyone? I remembered to go to uh, where I do the outro before I did the outro this time. Anyway, uh, thanks for hanging around. I hope you've had a good time chatting, uh, or just you know watching me in the background as you do the dishes or play a game or or watching me actively but uh, for now I must bid you adieu so thanks for watching see you later